Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sean, and it is time for checking out Tasty's The Name Chapter Free for their third full album. I do take a moment to get the number right there. We have the opening track, Growing Pain, Tower Track, Chasing That Feeling, pre release track, Back for More TXT Version, Dreamer, Deep Down, Happily Ever After. Musu Debbie, aka Skipping Stones, Blue Spring, Do It Like That, and then. Oh! Oh, that's interesting! On Spotify is. Chasing That Feeling English version. Okay, hello, surprise. <laughs> Anyways, we got a lot to get through. It's gonna be. Wow, 30 minutes. Oh, wow. Okay. That 30 minutes is probably going to turn into a freaking hour with me. <laughs> Let's just jump straight into this. I'm incredibly curious. I'm incredibly excited. It's going to be quite the emotional journey. I just know. But let's get into it. Let's go. Definitely turn it up. Oh, referencing the cliff. Who's doing that? Wow, oh my God. Uh, even if your brains break. Oh, wow. Let's go, little good instrumental moment. Yes. Wow, that is an epic opening to the entire album. Holy shit. So the lyrics very much are exactly a blend of gravity and reality concepts for sure. Wow, what an opening track. That one goes insane. I need to know who's doing those vocal fries. <laughs> Seriously. Like, 
there's high notes like the instrumental oh my god this song is insane holy shit alrighty we can kind of just like enjoy chasing their feeling a little bit obviously I've already seen the lyrics on the um MV so won't have to really worry about reading lyrics as I listen I can just like really absorb into the song so title track chasing that feeling let's go I can't believe we go from like hard rock to synth what The way he sings that line so pretty. Always going after the magic, no matter what. Sounds like a child. Oh, okay. guy. Yeonjun's vocals are so gorgeous. Once again, it's a instrumental bridge, just like Growing Pain had. That line reminds me of coming to see the monster life. Oh, Taeyeon with that extended note. Oh, magical song, truly magical song. Okay, now we have our pre-release trade the TXT version. Back for more. Let's go. It's such an interesting flow from chasing that feeling to this. We talk and talk and not away. Oh, we don't got no issues to be about keeping on some of the same ways. We keeping on nothing, not stuff to make you dependent on. 
it's so satisfying that I can sing that word for word now. Because <laughs> at first it was a bit of a tongue twister and pretty fast paced because it's kind of a rap. So me nailing that part, I'm very proud of myself. <laughs> I will say the genre is very smooth from like synthy chasing the feeling to disco back more it's very smooth transition with the two there Oof. Alrighty. Back for more is super fun. I love that song. More and more. As I listen. Now we're getting into Dreamer. This one, as I've been hearing all the previews from like, the YouTube version, the TikTok versions, has been seriously fighting its way to be my favorite as well. So we're going to get to hear the full version. So let's freaking go. Wow, what an interesting intro. Get it three times. Three times because I'm reading Lisa's says sauce three times. Who gave me that line? Hopeless dreamer. I found the name dreamer. I found the name dreamer. Wow. Ah, uh, it's the only the close it is. 
It's Yeonjun with that. Let me break it down for you. Of course, I gotta get in that line. Of course, he's gonna deliver it sexually. Aye, aye, aye. Dreamer is absolutely magical. And the lyrics, I feel like they're from the perspective of their younger selves, almost like their inner child. Like, I don't know. There's a mesh of like their inner child, but also their adult self kind of like clashing. Like talking about you know, dreams of a child and then the harsh reality of how much dreams can change or be taken away or even come true as an adult. But as you grow, things change. But in the end, the dream that they had lost slash forgotten, the dream slash the name, Dreamer. Wow. Subin's falsetto is such a key point in this song for me. Obviously, I'll pick up more key points as I listen along more, but on the first full listen, yeah, wow. Okay, deep down. This is one of the two songs that is nervous as hell. <laughs> I'm nervous as hell for, but we're just gonna... We're going into it. Let's go. The map of the star references, oh my god. Every time I get immersed in the story of the songs and get emotional, the production just like pulls me out of it, ironically. <laughs> like I get too focused on hearing the, the songs and the lyrics. Ooh. This song is so fascinating. I knew there would be references to Crown. I wasn't expecting there to be references to Never the Star. Wow. Wow, you are an interesting one. This part right here, the radiant light that's leading me was you who was making me shine. Yeah, so I was trying to like pick up like Deep down, I need you more, and I was trying to figure out like what that you is, but of course, it's the star, it's more. Inevitably, it always ties back to more. See, so yeah, one day suddenly, horns grew on my head, a shameful feeling, my mind went blank, inside, hiding inside my blanket. I'm really one that's different, even though I try to run away endlessly. At the end, I'm faced with myself and my horns, inside this pitch black darkness. Right before I break you off, I realize. Yeah, so this whole section is not of the star. It really is like a different perspective on Nap of a Star now, actually. It's like when Yonjin slash Yujin broke off his horn in Nap of a Star MV, that was the pivotal point that set the course of 
pretty much what we saw throughout every other Star Seekers MV to come after that. But here, right before I break you off, I realize. Oh, I get it now. <laughs> Instead of breaking off the horn and feeling the shame of that part of you, that growing pain, in a star six sense, the casualty, it's accepting the horns, that there was never anything wrong with the horns, never anything wrong with that growing pain, that scar. But yeah, it's all about the mindset. As long as you love that part of yourself, nobody has the power to take that away from you. And thus, the horns become a beautiful crown. Wow, yeah. This is the answer to crown, where crown was like doubts and shame and confusion, but also is retelling the story of Nap of a Star, which is really interesting because Nap of a Star was the first ever beginning telling story, telling of the story for the Star Seekers, literally its entire whole. It really is like... Chapter one, rewrite. Wow. Oh my god, deep down, lyrically is beautiful. I still gotta like really immerse myself into the like, production of all these songs. Right now I'm just trying to understand everything on the baseline, but yeah, alright. <laughs> 